Hello everybody, Arturo Johnson here. And in today's video, I want to share with you the one thing that most people overlook um, that is directly correlated to success in business. And so, um, if you stay to the end of this video, I'm going to share with you the number one secret that most people overlook um, whenever they're starting their business. So, if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe at the end. Um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And so I've been well, really reflecting and reading this book again, and it's called The One Thing by Gary Keller. And if you haven't read this book, um, it's phenomenal. And it really just talks about keeping the main thing the main thing. And in business, I see it all the time, especially with the agents that I work with, that you know they come into this business and they wanna do so many things really, really fast. And the one thing that I always mention is keep the main thing the main thing, which is find one thing that you're good at and get great at that and stick to it, right? Um, and a lot of times they come into the business thinking about multiple strings of income and, and all of these different things. But the truth is, you know, that that's great. But the reality is, is that you need to have one stream of income that is strong before you try to diversify, right? You don't wanna have five streams of income that pretty much are barely, barely dripping out anything, right? You wanna have one stream that's flowing and then you wanna figure out how to, to generate another stream that flows. And so with that being said, right, you want to keep the main thing the main thing. And it's very easy to do in today's world, right? We have technology, um, we have social media, we're in a pandemic with um, the, any excuse to, to kind of just stay at the house and watch Netflix all day. But what we want to do is we want to get out of this mindset of becoming a jack of all trades and a master of none. And we really just want to, to really sit down and figure out, you know, what we're great at and, and see if we can share that with the world. And we want to become an expert, right, in one particular area. And the second thing is finding that one thing that works and sticking with it, right? So commitment. Um, a lot of times people will find things that work and then they'll just, they'll start coming up with more and brand new and newer, greater ideas of things. And they'll, they'll, they'll leave what's working and start to work on something else that doesn't work. And then they wonder why they fail, right? And for me personally, um, with just working with financial professionals, right? So in there, I had to draw a line. Do I wanna work with um, Medicare? Do I want to work with people who sell health insurance? Do I wanna work with real estate agents, right? And I get hit up all the times. Do I think I could get them results with using my program? Of course I could but i'm keeping the main thing the main thing what i know best right is when i was in the business i knew that there had to be a way to to get uh quality leads and to book appointments into my calendar fully automated for life insurance and that's what i stick with and um that just comes down to commitment right once you find something you need to commit to it for at least one year right, riding it out. And what that would allow you to do is to become a master at your craft. And a lot of people um, will commit to something because they have a great idea, but then a month or two down the road, when you ask them, hey man, how's that going? They're like, oh, well, you know, and they come up with all these excuses on why it wouldn't work. And you want to commit to it, and then you want to believe in your ability to figure it out. And just by that one act of just committing to it, you know, you're pretty much guaranteeing that you are going to have some phenomenal results. Now you need a couple other things, right? You need to have um, a great idea. You need to have a plan of action, but you also need to have commitment. 
Um, and then the last thing is simplicity, right? We want to keep things simple. And an example of that is a lot of people, they, um, they don't keep things simple, right? And so how you do one thing is how you do everything. And um, an example of that is my keys, right? So most people, if you know, if you pull out your keys, they've got tons of keys on the, on their ring, and some of the keys are from old mailboxes and old addresses. Some are from um, uh, PO boxes or uh, you know old file cabinets from years ago when they were in college, or old businesses, or um, you know old keys from apartments they had back in college. Well, well, why do you still have those on your key ring, right? And so you're saying, Arturo, well, why does this even matter about business? Well, it's about clutter and removing things that keep you from being efficient, right? So when I go to reach for my keys and I open the door, just there's only one key on here. There's two keys, that's my, my, my key file for my car, but there's just one key on here. But it's not just about the keys, right? It's about the brain power of how long it takes for you to find the key to get where you need to go. And if you think that's silly, well, just, just, just pull out your keys, right? And we'll see how simple this one thing is, is just try to go ahead and remove that key and just be aware of why you're removing it. And it could be a key that you have no idea what it goes to. And, uh, you know, it's probably been years since you even used that key and you have no idea why it's still on your ring, but it just, uh, it just keeps, it's just been there and you just accumulate more keys and it's just around there. Right. And just imagine like trying to take that off, how much resistance it is to that because in some kind of way, your brain just like your brain just thinks that, Oh, well, this key may be to some magical box of a treasure that you may need to, to use one day that could unlock a door that has a million dollars behind it, right? Your brain will just find all these things. But what is it doing, right? It's it's keeping you from, you know, being able to just put those keys in your pocket, right? Or it's being being able to find things so you spend moments of frustration, but it, it also is just uh, you know, a reason to to clean up some things. And I know I'm using the key thing as a microcosm, but you know, what if this was something in your business, right? And if something isn't working and you haven't used it in a while, and for some reason you're emotionally tied to it for, for some reason and you don't know why, and you just can't get rid of it. Well, if you don't cut it out of your business and out of your life, um, it's gonna cost you. And so this is what I'm saying about simplicity, right? And we can, you know, we can look at something as simple as keys, um, to use this as a good practice to keep things simple and to get rid of things that we don't need. And so, um, you know, just to recap in this video, um, number one, just keeping things, keeping the main thing, the main thing, um, finding something that works and staying committed to it for at least one year. And then the way you do one thing is the way you do everything, which is simplicity, right? essentialism finding the things that you did are necessities and using those and cutting things that you don't need so um, I hope this video was helpful um, if you like this video go ahead and click the like button or subscribe to the YouTube channel I try to create some videos like this three times a week of high quality about business and life on the, the, the small things that can take you to that next level and get you over the hump that the one percenters are using. So again, um, that book is called The One Thing by Gary Keller. So go ahead and check that out um, and feel free to, to leave some comments in below um, in the section below and let me know how many keys you have on, on your key ring that you have no idea what they go to. Thank you.